Hi folks, thanks for joining me again. I'm Stephen Crow and today I've got a nice little, very, very simple little winter scene for you. A limited palette on this one. I'll show you the colours in a sec, but I've tried to keep the strokes as loose as I possibly could. So let me show the colours I've used. The palette for this one, I've used Ultramarine, Payne's Grey, there was just a touch of raw sienna, not a, not a huge amount, and Burnt Umber was the other main colour. And the brushes, got the large one, Ransom Ake. I've used a couple of riggers, a, a number three and a size zero that's buried down there somewhere with a bit of water. Not too much, just to stop it from crinkly, crinkling. Um, and then a touch of Payne's grey and a bit of ultramarine. And just a bug standard sky, something like that. going to use a bit of tissue just going to take out a little bit of cloud at the bottom I'm going to raise, raise that slightly right that'll do for that I'm trying to determine what colours I'm going to use. I'm going to go blue. Bit of burnt umber as well, I think. And then we'll line the distance. On the horizon, these things I want to keep them really, really small, just a little bigger there. Coming down a little bit, down to something like that. We've got just caught a touch of lemon yellow there, but it's not, not a problem. secret is to just don't mess with it just whack it in and leave it just leave it alone and you've got all that nice white paper acting as your snow I want to scrape a building in so first I'm gonna to have to make sure it's flat against the board so I can scrape properly then I'm just gonna grab my piece of card and let's just get the right size Use this one. Right in. We've got a, we've got a building in there. Just scrape down there like that. And let's scrape across there like that. And for now, that's all I'm going to do. Little chimney, leave it at that for now. In fact, no, study this. Let's put another one, another one next to it. I'm going to scrape in a few. Still a bit wet actually. Just need to let that dry a bit first before I go any further. Now scrape a few little details, just little little things in there, just just little lines, things happening. Little 
or telegraph poles. Don't faff around with these, just one stroke and they're, and they're in. I mean, just a very simple. I'm going to introduce just a touch of raw sienna, I think, not too much. Now, from here, we'll sort of down it like that. Something like that. fence that goes up there a little bit. There's actually I'm going to stick like a little guys or something up there. path. Something like that, just a little bit of this blue, dot it around, see like our icy colour. Some simple marks. Simple little shadows. Just wait slightly too long to scrape those in, not to worry. some of these up. Let's try bright red. Bright red for our little man, see what it looks like. Just going to pop in. Darker. Little doggy. Just scuff that up a little 
le père. Now I think I'm going to just leave it at that, leave it at that I think. on that see what it looks like. Here's our finished painting, so if we're going to have a closer look at it. I started off with a very simple um, sky wash, just to differentiate against, the, we got the horizon line here, I wanted white snow there and above it was just ultramarine with just a touch of Payne's grey in it. And then just took out a few little clouds with the tissue. Same mix all the way along the horizon line, just hit and miss. Don't be deliberate with it, just tap, tap, tap with the with the hay brush. Same again with these trees. Accidentally caught a touch of lemon yellow there, that's why that looks a little bit greeny, more than it should have done. You can see what I've painted it, scraped in these posts. Did them too big actually, I mean look at the size of those posts of the houses, way too big. Um, just as well, they're filled in. couple of houses there scraped. All I did was scrape in the roofs and just left the rest of the imagination. Um, and as soon as I'm tapping, 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 you've just got bits of paint flying off the brush. Don't worry about it, it's all part of the effect. Again, same uh, see the, see the beauty of the height brushes? You get all these random lines and marks, and this is exactly what I'm looking for. You couldn't paint that with a, with a round brush, you'd take forever. Well, I suppose you could, we, there's, there's different ways of doing things, but yeah, as you see I've used um, Little rigger brush as well, just to scrape in a few more marks. And then just give our little manner just a red coat to contrast against the rest of the, the sort of limited palette. So a little dog next to him, a couple of little shadows as well. And then got this hedge come right down to the foreground and this light ultramarine blue path. Again, just whacked a few fingers into it and scuffed it all up. That leads up to our little man there, passing through the, the gate there. So I hope you like that quick little winter scene. Um, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, do please ask. Do join me over on Patreon if you get the chance. patreoncom Stephen Many thanks to all my supporters over there. It is very much appreciated. So until next time, keep practicing, and I'll see you again soon.